Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. Let's talk about this supercharged biofang that catches everything. So what have to do, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So the term supercharged biofang typically refers to a modified uh, or enhanced versions of biofang radios that offer expanded, expanded capabilities beyond their uh, standard you know, specifications, right? And here are some things about this supercharged biofang radio that you're gonna wanna know. So uh, the expanded frequency range, right? Supercharged biofang radios often feature unlocked or expanded frequency ranges, allowing them to receive and sometimes transmit uh, on a wider spectrum of frequencies, right? For example, you have the Biofang UV5RH, that's the version one, that can receive and transmit on VHF 144, 148 megahertz, and UHF, right? UHF, which is around 430 to 440 megahertz bands, as well as receive AM airband 108 to 136 megahertz, right? Uh, some models can operate on tri-band frequencies, including 136 to 174 megahertz, 220 to 260 megahertz and 400 and 400 to 520 megahertz now additional features these enhanced radios may include am airband reception capability allowing users to listen to aviation communications please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and like button if you like this video hit that subscribe button and like button there's also the increased transmit power right with uh you know some models offering up to 5w output there's extended battery life with higher capacity batteries there's legal considerations it's important to note that while these supercharged radios offer expanded capabilities they may not always comply with local regulations some models like the biofeng gt5r are marketed as fcc compliant versions with restricted transmit ranges which is around 144 to 148 megahertz and 420 to 450 megahertz right there's the unlocked or modified radios that may allow transmission on frequencies that require specific licenses or are restricted for certain purposes. Now, in regards to performance, right? In regards to performance, uh, users often report improved performance with these enhanced models. There's the increased range with some users claiming communication uh, distances of over a mile in urban environments. There's better reception and sensitivity across a wider range of frequencies, while supercharged biofing radios can offer exciting capabilities for enthusiasts, it's crucial to use them responsibly and in compliance with local regulations. Always ensure you have the appropriate licenses and permissions before transmitting on any frequency, right? That's the bottom line. So what are the advantages of the Biofeng GT5R's dual band feature? Because that is one of the key ones. The Biofeng GT5R's dual band feature uh, has the expanded communi uh, you know, communication range, right? We talked about that a little bit. But uh, it, you know, the GT5R supports both um, VHF and UHF bands, right? The VHF, that's the you know very high frequency, and the UHF, that's the ultra high frequency, right? This dual band capability allows users to communicate across a wider range of frequencies, enhancing versatility and coverage. Now, which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below, right? Now, again, there's the improved functionality. The dual band feature enables like the, the dual frequency reception. Users can monitor two different frequencies simultaneously, even across different bands. That's one of the, 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 the key <laughs> the key differences, right? There's the dual standby. The radio can receive calls on two different channels. There's improving situational awareness, right? There's the enhanced versatility. The GT5R's dual band ca uh, capability makes it suitable for various applications. Now, those applications are the amateur radio use, right? Which covers popular ham radio bands. There's the emergency communications, right? That's access to multiple bands increases, you know, it basically increases the chances of establishing contact during emergencies. There's outdoor activities, right? It's useful for hiking, camping, and other outdoor pursuits. Now, uh, there are places where you know communication across different bands may be necessary right there's the wide reception range while re transmission is limited to amateur radio bands the gt5r can receive a broad spectrum uh, of frequencies right 136 to 174 megahertz that's the vhf 400 to 500 520 megahertz that's the uhf 76 to 108 megahertz that's the fm radio there's the 108 to 136 megahertz that's the aviation band and then there's the NOAA weather channel so that's what i have for you today please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and like button if you like this video if you learned some information if you enjoyed this content please hit that subscribe button and like button i appreciate you stay safe and see you on the next video